Uh oh, should I be doing this with all these mar- Oh shit, I have all these blood. Alright, I'll switch to my Bold Hunter's Mark. If I need to, I'll retreat out. If it gets too bad. If I- Cause I- this, this is a lot of souls to gamble right now. I shouldn't have come up here with them all on me. I should have gone to town first. I can't lock on to him. Hello? How you doing, sir? Can we- can we talk? I can't lock on to him, so I assume we're not in, he's in, in danger here. He has a fucking cool-looking weapon. Well, well. How did you get in here? Uh, it's no matter. What brings you to old Yarnum? Uh, I've no interest in matters further up. But you must not disturb this place. The beasts do not venture above and mean no harm to anyone. If you still insist on hunting them, then I will hunt you first. You understand me? Yes, very good. I no longer dream, but I was once a hunter too. There's nothing more horrific than a hunt. In case you fail to realize, the things you hunt, they're not beasts. They're people. One day you will see. Mmm. It's time you got going. But first, a farewell gift. I have no use for it anyway. Powder keg hunter badge. Brush off dust. Let's try that one out. Uh, that's the wrong side. Is the left side? There we go. Uh, shake off cape. Joy. There's a, there's a few skills in here I like. It's probably good to keep wave around. Point forward. These are all actually good to keep around. Let's replace joy. Oh! I mean, did it <laughs> just look like a crazy person now? Uh, switch is triangle. Uh, brush off dust. Well, that's neato. Maybe like, I'm gonna shake my cape and I'm gonna brush off the dust. Or it's not gonna happen because I pressed it too soon. Anyway. Looks like we're friendly here, so it's like the it's sort of like the zombie apocalypse scenario where there's always someone who thinks, but the zombies are still people. We can't kill them because we can cure them. That's an ongoing thing in Walking Dead, for example. And this guy has the same. He's he seems to have a similar approach. He maybe maybe doesn't think they're curable, but he thinks the beasts are still people. And I don't know if he's right or not. He could potentially be right. I'm not going to act like he's right because that's a I don't know how to proceed with the game otherwise. But he just wants me to not attack attack all the people here. That's fine. I'm. I mean, I'm done here anyway. I already killed the boss. We don't. We can get. A, if I can get along with another person in this game, I'd be okay with that because there's so few. And maybe I don't know. Maybe we'll see him later. What is it? Surely I need not repeat myself. Go, I say. You have the whole night to dream. Make the best of it. I'm gonna be annoyingly persistent because some of these characters do stuff different when you talk to them again. What is it? Nope. You. Never mind. All right. Can I touch your gun? I don't get to touch your gun. Okay, what if I pushed his gun off and then I'm like, "Psych! I'm not on your team now." But also, I pushed your gun down, so screw you. So now, am I safe to walk around in this area without him killing me? Now is that a thing? Because that means I can use that sh shortcut where there's a ladder in the middle of the area, so I can go like from the opening. I can go from the entrance straight down to where I just used the ladder to get here. Anyway, we're on friendly terms with this guy now. That's neato. I'm gonna get the hell back into town before I get myself killed. I'll probably check this little jump off point. Cause it seems like it might take me somewhere. It was right here, I think. Yeah. Anything Oh. This looks new. Oh, bunch of stuff just spawned. Is that so is that guy gonna attack me if I fight something? I hope not. Cause I don't think they're friendly to me. Wow, one shot. Alright. What's down there? Is that the main Oh, we're above the hallway. Oh, I think I've shot this guy down before. You walk in through that door, you go that way, and you end up in that room with all the chanting people. So this is a secret entrance to part of this area. Anyone gonna attack me? No? What do we find around here? I was... I'm just baffled that that, that door opened to, to freaking central... Uh, not central, old Yarnum. I was just under the assumption that we were in Demon Souls land where every of the like I thought those were like the I thought the tombstones were like archstones where they were all leading to the completely different worlds that were separate from each other somehow, which would make sense to some extent because we're in the hunter's dream or whatever. 
how you, how whatever weird story device you want to interpret out of that. So I'm surprised to just walk through a door and end up in, end up in a different tombstone land. So that means that, uh, that also means I have a direct connection from old Yarnum to the area that I just unlocked. So it's all interconnected directly without having to teleport around. See, I've been down there. Th oh yeah, that's where I baited everybody out. I hung out in that area while I got attacked by everybody. And that's how I wiped out most of the enemies. It looks like because I'm up here, I have access to the left side now. Let's try to just carefully walk over there. Oh, wait. My bad. I'm so sorry, guys. I keep forgetting. I wish I could just turn it on forever. Although it doesn't help that I've apparently been removing it. I don't remember doing that, but okay. There we go. Now it's slightly more lit up. Oh, okay. Let's not move faster. I don't trust... The movement's just a little too weird in this game. And that's that's every Souls game for me to trust it in that way. I'm trying to tell if there's anything up here, but I also don't know if I could jump across anyway. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the top platform has anything on it, so I'm just going to try to come down and try not to get killed. I'll go back over here, because then I have more distance in which to move forward without it falling past a rail or something. Don't break? Okay, cool. Oh, now they all know I'm here. Alright, we're back on that. That's fine. I'm just going to grab some stuff. Ooh, four cocktails. Okay, dokey. Can I get over? Oh, is that a separate cliff? I'm going to have to jump for it. I don't think I can... Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I missed. Is there a ladder over here? But I want the item. Aw. I might have to come back. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna have to come back for it. I don't see how else to get there. Shit. Alright, we'll try to give it another go. Unfortunately, jumping in this game could just be kind of awkward... I'm never super on board with the platforming in any, any of these games. So, jump. Yeah, there we go. Okay, made it. What's the item over here? Anything cool? Bloody messenger head bandage. Oh. My messenger's gonna have head bandages just now. It's another custom visual flare item. This, is, this seems like a long drop down. I mean, it is a long drop down. I fell down earlier to get back up here. So I'm just going to Hunter's Mark out of here keep my souls safe. All right, let's go level up, guys. We've we've accomplished a lot. I've accomplished a lot, but you've watched me accomplish a lot, so it's like we did it together, I guess, if you want to think that way. All right, Powder Keg Hunter Badge. Badge of the Powder Keg Hunter crafted by Powder Kegs. Is there someone named Powder Keg? Is that his name? Uh... Badge crafted by the Powder Kegs, the heretics of the workshop. The Powder Kegs adorned uh, adoration of complex design and big booms culminated in a weapon designs that contrast with those traditionally of the workshop. The late Powder Kegs, bless their souls, had a motto. If a weapon ain't got kick, it just ain't worth it. Okay. There's a, oh, did I use... I don't think I looked at this one either. Uh, the sp Spark Hunter Badge. Badge of Friends of Archibald. Chirk wash, worship, uh, Workshop Eccentric. Uh, badge cra crafted in secret by Archibald and the infamous eccentric of the healing church for his friends. Archibald was fascinated with blue sparks that emanate from the hi hides of dark beasts. So I probably got that from that boss. And dedicates, dedicated his life to its artificial reproduction in a style of inquiry that incidentally closely followed the methodology of Birkenworth. Anything else new here around? I don't think... Let's see... Bloody messenger head bandage, uh, accessory adorned by naive messengers imitating the bandages of scour of scourge victims, unaware of their meaning. <laughs> That's adorable that they don't understand what they're doing. The spatters of blood give it a particularly nice touch. The inhabitants of the stump appear to have an interest in adornment. Why not let them be happy and revel in as ba and revel as babes? What the hell? It says that uh, why not let them ha be happy and revel as babes seems to be a reoccurring line here. So here's the messenger top hat I got from. Uh, Let's see, nothing new here. Black messenger hat, this is the one I followed, found on that one roof. Hat that messengers are, are oddly fond of. The symbol of preservation, hunt, uh, uh, preventative hunters of the healing church. All right. I think that's about all our new stuff was. So I'm gonna head back here. Why not, let's play dress up with our messengers. Why not? It's kind of adorable, this is an ongoing thing. They got, they're, they're all styling right now in their little hunter hat, their little hunter hats. Blood or messenger bandage? This one, this one might be the one more, one of the more secret and rare looking ones for all I know. So it's, it might be kind of fun to run around with that. Look how adorable they are. They don't even know that they're like blinded by the. They can't even see past them. And by adorable, I mean they're horrifying. Of course, <laughs> that's not adorable. But something. But I think the part where the game contextualizes them as as if they're babies kind of makes it more adorable. Interesting. So 
when we beat uh, the not we not the last boss, but the the woman that turns into a beast, uh, I think the guy in the cutscene seemed a lot like the wheelchair guy from here. I was kind of hoping he'd show up again, but he hasn't. By the way, I went ahead and checked this here, the memory altar. This is how you use runes. So until I find out how to, the device I need to use them, then we can't use them. While we're at it, let's put on proper set because I'm not wearing my. I need to put my yarnum set back on. Actually, I think my hunter gloves have better defense than the Yarnum set, don't they? Yeah. I think the I think it's the Yarnum. Yeah, basically the hunter has the hunter set seems to be all around better. I think I I think I misinterpreted the the, the Yarnum set as being better at one point just because uh, I saw, I I switched to it because it was have such better poison resistance and I kind of forgot that oh yeah that was kind of the only thing I had going for it otherwise it is a little weaker in every way. So we have two shops to check out to see if new stuff showed up. We have this one over here, which I can't access without another insight. Do I just, do I just, let's just, fuck it. Let's just spend one of these. Bam. Now I've got insight. Hey guys, how's it going? Anything new here? Ooh, bolt paper. So now, oh, this must be the thing I got from killing the uh, dark beast. So now every time... I have an insight, I can use it to get a bolt paper, to, which is uh, uh, applies lightning to my weapon, which could be handy, but only against specific enemies, probably. Anything else around here worthwhile? Not necessarily. Alright, good to know. Dropping down. So I can level up, I can level up or I can buy stuff. Let's see, what's new around here? Ooh, that's new. So we had the Molotov cocktail, but now we have the rope Molotov cocktail, exploding Molotov cocktail that is thrown behind. Oh, it's a Molotov cocktail you throw behind you. It's an escaping, exploding Molotov cocktail that's thrown behind. Allows for more maneuvering compared to an ordinary Molotov cocktail and can catch foes off guard. Since the tragedy that struck Old Yarnum, fire has become a staple of beast hunts and is thought to cleanse impurity. Certain types of beasts have an abnormal fear of flame. So it's very expensive. Oh, wow. Even the normal Molotovs have gotten more... Uh, everything's gotten more expensive now. That Blood Vials 540 used to be like... 380 I think Molotovs were also around that so everything's more expensive now and that rope Molotov cocktail I could buy like I could buy like 22 of them no like 26 of them and I'd run out of souls oh I can buy oil urns now that's good news and they're not that expensive considering how rarely I want to use them but those could be super handy for a lot of boss fights there's a lot of boss fights where all I want to do is throw an oil urn and a Molotov at them to see if I can do a spike of damage because we it was so effective in the past. But I can't get oil urns to drop off of the goddamn... Like, they're... I found that they they can pick them up in specific locations and they're supposed to be a rare drop off of some of the, uh... They're supposed to drop rarely off of some of the, uh, wolf-type people in old in uh, Central Yarnum. But, uh, it doesn't ever seem to work for me. Oh, bolt paper. We can buy bolt paper for, for money instead of inside also. Good to know. Costs 5,000 though, so it's really expensive. Ritual Blood for Hilly Chalice. Saw Cleaver. Oh, Stake Driver. That's the weapon we saw that guy holding. What kind of stats does it have? It's D it's a D ranking with everything. Interesting. Let's see. 78 to 85. So it, it does more damage than the uh, Thodacane starts off with, but it doesn't have dexterity scaling really. This Rifle Spear. A rifle spear, weird. It's a we it's it's listed as a melee weapon instead of a gun, so it's primarily a ri it's primarily a spear. Tonitris, what is this? Do any of these have good dexterity uh, scaling at all? That's what I'm wondering. There's the threaded cane, being the awesome dex scaler it is. That's it. I might get one some of these cool weapons later, but right now they're really expensive, and I don't know if I want to blow them on that when I could get more points than something else. What I will do is my usual shtick. Of let's sell our bloodstone shards because they're worth 200 each which is a fair amount to get and I have no use for them right now let's look into our chalice dungeon ritual costs this is the Thermu uh, Thumaru chalice it has depth of one what does that mean exactly depth of labyrinth unlocked by the chalice ritual the higher the number the deeper the dungeon okay uh, that, that's that means exactly what it I thought it would mean I guess area thermu uh thumeru an area of the labyrinth unlocked by the chalice ritual features of each area will differ uh it costs me 
1,000 blood echoes and two ritual blood. I have two ritual blood and more than a thousand blood echoes, so yeah, let's go check out that area. I'm gonna go level up, and I'll just be careful not to spend. Uh, I'll be careful not to spend my way down to being less than a thousand. I think I might keep going for more arcane. I like the idea of increasing my discovery rate, especially since I'm at the point where like I can go, I can put more points into skill, and it technically makes me stronger. But the uh, the effectiveness of the scaling up is going slower. Wait, right hand weapon two attack. It does have more effect on that part than the, the main part. I don't know, I think I want to go a little bit more arcane. That's a 15% bonus to discovery. If I can get stuff to drop frequently enough, which I'd like to, then I won't have to deal with, uh... Let's see, required... How much do I have left? I have like 8,000 left. There we go. So inc inc increasing my discovery rate means we're gonna get more items, which means I don't have to farm as much, because farming is a bummer in this game. Almost as much a bummer as the loading screens are. Welcome We've had some progress, so let's see if she has anything new to say. Hunters have told me about the church, about the gods and their love. But do the gods love their creations? I am a doll created by you humans. Would you ever think to love me? Of course, I do love you. Isn't that how you've made me? Do androids dream of electric sheep? Hunters have told me that That's all they have to... Ever think to love oh, me. I sat down. Of course. Why did I sit down? I do love you. I guess I'll walk away. Isn't that how you've made me? Let's see here. Well, good hunter. So, oh, I, I know how I sit down. Uh, let's look at this. My sit down animation is to twist the controller upward. And I found out that you, apparently you do these by uh, holding down X. So hold X and twist the controller. Okay, did people lie to me? Let's see, it says... Hold X, rotate controller... Let's see... X? This is really unreliable. I just did brush off dust, dust. Which is the opposite of what I was trying to do. Yeah, Brush Off Dust has the opposite animation. There we go. Oh, you have to go really slow. Okay. It's really slow. But yeah, you can do, uh, you can hold X and then move the controller in certain ways to ma make that happen. So, let's try, let's try it at one of these altars. A short ritual root chalice required to conduct a ritual. Use the ritual altar to, to create a chalice dungeon with a chalice ritual or to search for chalice dungeons created by hunters in other worlds. Let's just let's just do the ritual. I have the stuff for it. Let's do a thermo chalice. This will be interesting because it'll be just mine. None of you guys have ever seen this run before. It's exciting. Because they're supposed to be procedurally generated. If the ritual is finished and the chalice rests upon the altar, you may now explore the dungeon. What's going to happen? I'm really interested in seeing how this goes. Chamber of the Seal. Additional rites. Conductor. Chalice Glyph. Q-U-X-E-J-H-C-Y. So I guess you guys can type that in to do this if you want. Let's go give it a shot. I have no idea how this will be. 